Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand time complexity examples too. So, this is our second example. This is our second video on time complexity examples. In our previous video, we have explained one of the simplest uh, example. Uh, we have found the time complexity for an example. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now in this class we'll try to uh, find the time complexity of an algorithm called matrix addition so the addition of two matrix and what is the amount of time taken by that algorithm we'll try to understand so hope you know that so we are under the assumption that you know the basics of uh, adding a matrices so let's have a recap of that also so the very important point the very important rule for matrix addition is both the both the matrices should be of same size so in this case we are having two matrices and both are of size 2 by 3 and the resultant matrix is will be so this is our resultant matrix assume that this is a c the resultant matrix c is also of same size and how the matrix addition is done the each uh, correspond each value so here 1 plus 2 this one this value so we'll get added and we'll get stored in this place and 2 plus 3 here 2 plus 3 and 3 plus 4 here 3 plus 4 4 plus 1 here and 5 plus 4 here and 6 plus 7 so this is how the matrix addition is done so adding two matrices now to to get the solution for the addition of these two matrices we have written this algorithm so this is the algorithm for matrix addition matrix matrix addition and here we are using nested loops see here uh, a loop in an another loop this is nested loop and uh, uh, how this nested loop will work and what is the time complexity when the nested loops are involved so that 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 is that point is very important to understand if the nested loops are involved in the algorithm what is the time complexity so how the things will work that is very important to understand here the function uh, now the algorithm is having the parameters mn mn means it is 2 and 3 the uh, 2 and 3 means 2 rows and 3 columns m is 2 and the n is 3 and abc or the matrices abc or the matrices now how many times how many times this line of code will get executed this for loop line of code so line of code means this is the condition how many times this will get iterated in our case it is a 1 to m m means two times this loop will get iterated every time we come into this loop every time we come into two times we are going this line of code will get executed this line of code will get executed try to try to get that point every time we come into this uh, loop this will get executed how many times does this will get executed this loop will get executed so uh, so once again so whenever we come into this loop how many times does this line of code will get executed okay and how many times does this line of code will get executed the sum of all those components is what we call it as time complexity so let's start with our first line of code here this this uh, for loop means this part of the algorithm how many times does this will get executed this line of code will get executed plus m plus one number of times this one is for uh, coming out of the loop so first time we are going to come into this loop because the condition is true second time also we are going to come into this loop because uh, the condition is true and third time here this line will get executed but we are going to fail we are going to go out of this loop and the remaining part will get executed so think of it that's why it is m plus one that's why it is uh, m plus one and every time we come into this loop every time we come into this loop how many times does this loop will get this line will get executed try to get that point this line will get executed how many times does this line will get executed so how many times we are going to come into this loop we are going to come into this loop for m times we are going to come into this loop try to get my terminology the, my words so we are going to come into this loop for m times and every time we come into this loop this line of code will get executed for n plus one number of times this line of this line of code we are going to come into this loop for m times 
and every time we come into this loop this line of code will get executed plus n plus one number of times try to get it m plus one number of times what about this line of code so we are going to come into this loop for m times and we are going to come into this loop for n times m into n m into n so this line of code will get executed for m into n number of times what is the total sum value the total sum value is sum all those components simple algebra it is m plus one simple math plus m into n plus one mn plus m mn plus m okay plus mn okay so what is the sum value it is 2mn 2mn plus uh, 2m plus 1 so this is the time complexity of this algorithm okay this is how we uh, the very important point is how the things will work in the nested loop cases so this one m into n plus 1 how did we got that because we are going to come into this loop for m times and each time this line of code will get executed n plus 1 number of times that is why it is m into n plus 1 so these are the points that we have to understand because we are going to get the complex questions in the uh, exams there we should be very clear whether the lines how many times each and every line will get is getting executed so we are going to solve lots of lots of problems so as of now it may look very difficult but in the next coming classes the things are going to be very simple because we are going to execute we are going to uh, solve so many problems hope you got the clar clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching